I want to make sure I'm understanding this correctly. This uh, motorcycle punk in the red in the red mask. Uh, uh helmet. Excuse me. Sir, it was a it was a helmet. Okay. The motorcycle punk in the red helmet has the audacity to take all my well-earned income, and now, according to you, he has now made off with all my guns. Uh, actually, he uh, destroyed them. Excuse me? I can't hear you. Uh, m m Mike, can you, can you speak up bit there, Mike? Uh, he, um, he destroyed the gun, sir. God, son of a... Now look at you, boy. Just shake it. Take a deep breath. I'm not mad at you. We just made some mistakes. And we can learn from those mistakes. Maybe it's not even on you. Maybe it's on you. Maybe I can be a better manager. But to do that, I need your help. Now boys, remember, we're family here. And family's supposed to be able to talk to each other. So I want to hear it from you. What do you think went wrong tonight? What can we do different? Tell me how you feel. Now, boys, I know it's a little intimidating talking up to the boss, but this is a safe space. You can talk to me. Uh, sir, uh, maybe... Logan! I knew there was a reason I liked you. Look at that initiative! Thank you for your honesty. Thank you for your bravery. Your thoughts. Cat got your tongue, Mike? I asked you a question. Because I really want to know what you think. I want to know how you feel. I want you to know how much I care about you and your well-being. Oh, wait. No, I don't. I only care about you as much as you do as you're told. Look at me when I'm talking to you, Mike! See, when Black Mask says, protect my guns, I expect you to protect my guns. When Black Mask says, I want this red mask idiot dead, it means he should be dead. And failing that simple goal means one of has got to pay. So let's try this again. Let's play another round of Black Mask Says. Black Mask Says, take the gun. Good. Good listener. Black Mask says... Shoot your friend. Bad a boy. Ain't got all day, Mike! Anywhere on me. So here's your chance. 
Knight's henchmen, the so-called top brass of crime in Gotham. Show me how tough you are without your guns. You must be the punk that's been messing with my guys and breaking all my stuff. If you're looking to make my shit list, congratulations. That's one way of putting it. I'm taking over your business. You know, if you stay in Gotham too long, if you stay in this business, you start to pick up a thing or two. A lot of capes and tights, you know? and you fight someone for long enough, you start to pick up their fight pattern, so to speak. And brother, I've only seen one other guy fight the way you do. You're one of his, ain't you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, since you're new to the whole uh, grown-up business, let me tell you something about Gotham. Let me tell you something about my city. I'm ready to burn this hellhole into ash. To kill every mouth breather who was ever dumb enough to move here. And brother, I'm ready to go down with the ship before I let you take it from me. 
Oh, I'm sorry, were you still talking? If you have a complaint, take it up with HR. Otherwise, get the hell out of my office. <laughs> Come here, you little shit! You talk like a big man, but you fight like a scared little boy. You know why you will never will go so as well as me? Because between the two of us, we both know I'm the one who's not afraid to die. Been there. Done that. I got better. Let's see how you do. <laughs> you two work for me now. Here's a new contract. Signed by your former boss. <laughs>